of us operating in the United States as consumers and eaters or foodies, most of us have no idea what it would take to run a small scale farming operation, much less a mid-sized to large scale farming operation. We have no idea what the requirements are of time or organization or attention or land management skills or what it takes to understand the microbiology of an area. I heard something rather distressing. I heard about a uh, professional athlete turned podcaster who went and spent some time with a porn star and whatever backlash or fallout that has. But what it really got me thinking about was the resource needs for small scale urban food production, as well as the investment capital required to have a meaningful impact on a food system in an urban area, say in Metro Atlanta or Chicago or Detroit. And I thought about who is it I often think about who is it that has access to those resources. Many of the people who have access to the resources to pay people and employ people and purchase land, many of those people choose to utilize their resources in different ways. For us as, as growers in urban areas, what we know is that there's a lot of like hard resources and things that are needed as far as structures, as far as processing plants, as far as uh, germination places. There's a lot of infrastructure that's required to run small scale farming operations, much less mid-size or, or large scale farming operations. And all of these resources require investment and capital expenses, but most importantly, transforming the young people into people who have the capacity to be diligent and follow through on tasks. This is where the actual investment is going, is in how to pay people, how to keep people engaged in the work that are not qualified to do the work, but are still being able to be paid for work that they're not qualified for, that they're learning how to do. When we consider our celebrities and the people that we pay large sums of money to, to be professional athletes or entertainers or podcasters or commentators or analysts or whatever, when we think about those folks who we, who we invest in, the people that we invest in, that we tell them that what you're doing is important and valuable work and we're gonna invest in you. We invest in them and then they turn around and they use that money to do different things. <laughs> they have different ideas, different um, fantasies, different desires than we might have. And they definitely have different needs or at least think they have different needs and requirements. Many of us have no concept what it requires to operate a small scale farming operation. And yet we consume and waste food as though we're plantation owners, as though we own vast tracts of land and lots of food coming out of that land. And we can just do whatever we want with the water, with the electricity, with the food, with the soil. We're wrong about that, y'all. We are wrong about Many that. of the celebrities that we point to and watch and uh, what do they call it? Uh, criticize or examine, many of them are promoting a, an idea about health and wellness. Imagine if a portion of their resources were directed towards local growers, farmers, producers, composters, trainers, people in the system, in the field, in the food system who are actually being productive on even a small scale because being productive on a small scale, when capitalized and invested in correctly, supervised and overseen, 
in a collective manner can actually produce food for their local communities. And the scale and the capacity of that production is very much correlated and contingent on how much our local investor class values this work when compared to their other desires and interests. If so few of us know what it takes to manage a farming operation, large or small, and yet we do see a constant interest and reinvestment in entertainment and sports. One thing we know for sure is that the funds are available. It's just a matter of where we direct them. Directed in the right area, a lot can happen. A lot of soil can be saved, a lot of people can be fed, and a lot of life forms can have an environment. I don't see that around.